Welcome back to the Papa Me channel. How you doing? How you doing? I just woke up and I was just told I'm just now getting aware that the actual Five Nights at Freddy's teaser trailer thing has dropped. I've already kind of talked about it, but this time I can actually show some footage and actually give some real thoughts on it without having people slam their fist and show pixelated stuff and say, but the creators, he, he, he said, thank you for not sharing it. So let's take a look at this and see how it is. I will say going into this, I am very skeptical of this. That doesn't mean that <clears throat> I hate Five Nights at Freddy's. It doesn't mean that I fucking, you know, that I think the thing is stupid. I just think as an independent low concept idea game, which yes, there's tons of lore, but the mechanics of the game being switching camera angles and stuff, it's gonna be hard to really translate that in a fun way that feels, you know, respectable and honest and earnest to the people who play the games and who love the lore. I think a lot of people have like different reasons why they like this franchise and stuff and i think like because it's gonna it, it'll probably hit one little mark of it but then everybody else will be pissed because it's not hitting their specific niche of why they like five nights at freddy's so i don't know let's get into it okay wow first off <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> 18 million views. Wow, Jesus Christ. And they basically showed us nothing. I also, I made this post on Twitter as well when I saw the poster. I think the poster's fucking ugly as hell. <laughs> If people think that that poster is the actual puppets and not 3D models, you're high. People are trying to tell themselves that, like, that this thing is, it's all practical and, you know, it, they're all puppets. And they are. They're, the, the, the majority of the time, they will be. Right in that teaser trailer, they only showed them standing or them looking, you know, there's one little foot stomp. And that's all great for practical. And the practical effects look great. It's, you know, which, of course, there's more money into it. It looks leagues better than Willy's Wonderland and Banana Splits and all that bullshit but i'm telling you as soon as like some of the intense stuff starts happening they will have to use 3d to show it all those little stupid fucking jump scares they do in the game this is my predictions josh hutchinson is going to be running away a lot from 3d renders of these characters it'll still look probably pretty good because there's a budget behind the movie i think that they are going to completely abandon the idea of the power saving aspect of the game and just kind of be like eh. even though in my opinion i think that if they would stick with the power saving stuff it would be very interesting it, even if they fixated it being in one room and like the guy was like you really shouldn't leave so then anytime that josh hudgetson left the room and he kind of broke the rule of the game it would just be a funner way to explore new ideas without breaking away the idea of checking cameras and staying like in a state of survival and like looking around and building that tension and that's the other biggest thing is i feel like they're going to go like very marvel humor like try to appeal to a younger audience which i know that's kind of like it seems like that's kind of the age group of fnaf and enjoyers anyways which is fine but i think it with anything that you do if you play it straight it's going to be way better than if him being like okay so that just happened and that's a prediction and i might be wrong all my predictions might be wrong i love to be wrong i'd love for this movie to blow you know <clears throat> i'd love for this movie to do extremely well and be you know just an awesome fucking movie that i can enjoy but i have a feeling that people are going to compare this to like willie's wonderland and they're going to prefer Willy's Wonderland and Banana Splits over it because at least those are stupid enough to do really dumb things that I think people on a surface level can laugh at and enjoy even if the structure of the movie is fucking abysmal and non-existent and the story is terrible. Yes, you're gonna have people who just blatantly love the FNAF movie and they love the characters and their favorite YouTubers have been watching them and they love the games and all that kind of stuff. And you're gonna have people who just say, yeah, it's good. Like a Mario thing. Yeah, it's fine. It's just a horror game movie. What am I supposed to do? Actually give a remnant of thought? Mm, I don't know. And that's my very pessimistic side breaking through. But I don't know, man. I just don't have... I don't have a lot of faith for this movie. And I would love to be proved wrong. So before anybody starts slamming their fucking keyboards. Because, bro, man, the comments on my video talking about it. I've never seen such salty dogs before. Very, very funny. I think, like, aesthetically, the movie looks really fucking great. Once again, though, it's a high-level budget movie. You would expect these things. It, I, I, th these aren't things worth praising when you're throwing tens of millions of dollars at something. That should just be the thing that that's like a base level requirement. If you miss those things, then that's a slap in the face to anybody watching the fucking movie. But even like that metal stomp, it looked 
really I just like like a 70s rigid puppet which I guess is kind of cool but whenever it's a horror film it just makes the threat not threatening and I'm being nitpicky but at the same time this is all that they gave us to work off of and if this is a public discussion and people are being this fucking excited about something I'm curious I think it's gonna be one of the biggest horror films of the year and I don't think justifiably so okay people also uh, mistook the video about being like this almost got my channel deleted kind of thing and then people are coming in all smug and shit trying to be like oh well you showed a leaked trailer what the fuck did you expect you idiot you big stupid fucking mouth breathing idiot i think the idea is that the trailer got leaked we used that edited it you couldn't tell really what was going on and i'm pretty sure we called every small black child markiplier i don't really think any of us were being serious with the leak so in a way all of these stuck up fucking fnaf fans that we're happy that my channel was got leaked for showing a pixelated trailer leak from someone's desktop. I hope this movie's terrible. I hope that this movie is so bad it makes you cry because you're little babies. And you got little big baby diapers on. And uh, yeah, fuck you. I don't know what else to say. It just seems ridiculous. I felt I was like pulling my hair out. I was like, do we not understand the joke that's happening here? I don't know. But in all seriousness, I don't think there's a situation where a studio that needs to make a profit that is looking at this from a strictly profitable standpoint, which is what they're doing. I don't see that this is, I, I do not have any hope. There's no hope left, okay? And I know I'm a very pessimistic man. I know I'm very, I give, I, I hate everything. I see your comments. I know, I know, I know. But I'm telling you, if you looked at it objectively, you didn't look at it with your rose-tinted goggles of these of this franchise and stuff, I think it's going to be a pretty bad movie. Here's the thing, too, about that, I just want to say. You can like a bad movie. When someone says this movie is subjectively not good, even if it's something that you like, you can understand the critiques that people have. You can understand and the, you know, the idea that what the movie that I enjoy is fundamentally bad and you can still like it. You don't have to have it be something that's like praised and loved. You can enjoy things just because you enjoy them. All right. That's, 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 the, that's the beauty about being a human being. If fucking Anthony Fantano gives a album you like a four, what are you going to do? Stop fucking listening to it? No, you just say, okay, well, I like it. Who gives a shit? I'm just trying to give you the reasons why I like things, why I don't like things. And I think that this movie is going to be poopy. All I'm trying to do is give fun conversations of why I like and don't like movies in a very fun and comedic way. And I hope to God that this movie does well. I hope that it's something amazing. There's nothing I love more than being proved wrong and I, that I love a movie. All in all, it's just, you know, finally, legally, I can use the trailer and all you can suck my dick. <laughs> People who... People who were happy that my channel got a strike, but you know what? I, maybe I was playing with fire. Well, guess what, baby? I got burned, and I don't. And this little, this little innocent puppy doesn't know if he's gonna learn from his mistakes. Is the big thing. Uh, there's a couple truths that I have to say from this trailer, and one is the 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 poster is is it's 3d i'm just it's 3d you can lie you can say whatever the fuck you want those are 3d that's a 3d render of those things with artificial purple light with compositing of those glowing stupid fucking eyes i don't know how i'm supposed to tell you that people are lying to themselves seeing that saying that they saw like a camera reflection it's i, I it's unbelievable as if to even say that it being 3D is an insult, it's not. There's going to be 3D in this movie. I just, you gotta prep yourself for that. Because if you if you go in thinking that they're gonna have those big dumbass animatronics walk around like in Willy's Wonderland and stuff, it's not gonna happen. There's gonna be cool scenes where they look scary running around and they're gonna have to do that by making 3D models of them that are gonna look just like the fucking puppets. It's gonna be great renders. But I'm telling you, I bet you anything. Here's another call out I'm going to do. Here's another fucking call out. There's going to be a moment where Josh Hutchinson's running away. And I bet you anything, some of the animatronics are following him crawling on the walls. If I was a betting man, they don't really do that in the game. But I'm telling you, to enhance the visual experience, I bet you we see somebody crawling on the walls. Like, I bet you, if I had to make a weird prediction, I don't know why I was thinking this, but they get like decayed when they're evil. Like they have like two versions where they're like, oh, and maybe it's just the suit under them. Ooh, maybe it's just the exoskeleton out of them. But I have a feeling there's going to be a really nice, smooth animation of one of them, like, grabbing their face and, like, ripping it off Terminator style. And it'll be this, like, kind of gross CG mess. Like, it's not going to read very well. I think I already said that one. another one is Josh Hutchinson's going to be giving Marvel quips the whole time. I don't think he's ever really going to treat the danger ahead of him very seriously. That's not to say that he's not going to, like, if he's trapped, he's not going to be scared. I have predictions where he's going to be trapped, he's scared. It's like he goes from scared to cracking a joke, back to 
of scared to kind of cracking a joke just because it's like it's the marvel method man it works and i think people like that shit so I th that's just what i think is going to happen yeah i don't know i think it's going to be very faithful to the game i i, I just have a feeling it's going to be it's going to be mario puke it's going to be did you see that did you see that kind of thing and you know i'm curious i'm, cu I'm just cu i'm curious to see how it translates i don't know more of the story is what do you guys think about the fucking trailer especially coming from somebody i don't i have not played the fnaf games i've not like i've seen content of it before but as just like a, a person who wasn't like invested into the games i don't i mean i don't know it probably leads to the question too that's like why would you go see the fnaf movie if you're not like in love with the games and i think one culturally it's just a huge piece of like what has been on youtube when i was growing up whenever i was on youtube there was just so much fnaf and it's like it's kind of like minecraft in that way where it has so many avenues of content that it just it is a vital piece of internet history and i'm curious enough to see the movie because of that and also because of just the hype the hype around it so i think that you're going to get a lot of people going in being like what is this what the fuck is this and you're going to get tons of fans as well so the theaters are going to be very interesting where i feel like people are going to not know what the fuck is going on and then people who are either clapping and saying yay or they're complaining the whole time by whatever blumhouse is messing up which also you know blumhouse what the fuck can i say i mean they know how to make money so this thing's gonna make tons of money but another big thing is is this movie going to stand the test of time are people going to be watching this a year after it's released and my prediction right now no same with the Mario movie. I don't think people, anybody's gonna give a fuck to watch that. Anytime after the movie's released, I, if I had to give, I think that the movie's gonna be disappointing. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to tell you. I hope I'm wrong. What do you think about the, Mar the, the FNAF teaser? Did you like it? Did you think that it looked good? Did you, are you hopeful for the movie? I'm actually genuinely fucking curious. I, I, I don't know. I have no one to talk to about this with. So I'm talking to a camera wishing my audience was right here so I could have an open room discussion. We'll see. I don't fucking know. Uh, more videos very soon. I love you all. And uh, we'll be chatting soon. Whenever this movie comes out, we'll, uh, it's going to be fucking, it's going to be crazy to see. So see you in a few. Bye-bye, guys.